Hello and welcome to Sabbath School with Auntie Blessed. We're going to have our Sabbath School for April 18, 2020. And I decided to um, do something like we used to do it in Primary B Sabbath School. So it means most of the things I'm going to do here will be familiar to people who go to my Sabbath School class. And if you're watching for the first time or you're seeing these things, you can also, you're welcome to join and you can learn many things as we learn together our lesson for this week. God bless you as you watch. Okay, so we're going to sing Every Day with Jesus. If you know the song and the action, why don't you sing together with your family? And you can sing along with me. I'm sorry, I don't have any music here. So you're just going to manage my voice and just let's sing together. <clears throat> Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus says and keeps me, and he's the one we're waiting for. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Again, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus says and keeps me, and he's the one I'm waiting for. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Okay. Now, if you want, you can pray together with your family at this point, but I would like to be, do the opening prayer too. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for helping us throughout the week. Please bless us as we study our lesson and as we learn more about you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The mission story is a part of our Sabbath school that the kids enjoy. But since the story is already available somewhere, I will not be saying it here. I'm going to put the link to the mission story for this Sabbath in the description box so you can read it together as a family. But I have some questions for you. So as you read the story, I want you to think about these questions and please find the answer. So you discuss with your family and you can put the answer in my comment section. The first question, who is Bila? Second question, why did she go to Finland? Third question, what made her change her praying habits? You find the answer to the questions when you read the mission story. And that is the end of our mission story part. Now it's time to learn our memory verse. Our memory verse goes like this. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 Ready? Start! For God so loved the world that he gave is one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life john 3 16. now if you want you can pause the video and learn the memory verse together with your siblings or with your parents or together as a family you make everybody to learn okay and then we continue with our lesson let me see your hand if you're ready to participate in the story for today hmm I know you think how we teach a blessing tell the story from where she is well guess what I am not going to tell you the story I'm going to show you the link to the video because in my Sabbath class 
you know we always watch the video and so the video is already created by the producers of the lesson and it's on vimeo and i'm going to put the description on um, the link so that it's easy for you to find but i'm going to tell you the title of the story the title is the day jesus died and it's a very beautiful lesson that i would really want you to go and see but before you watch there are questions for you too that you need to discuss with your family after watching the video for the story question one how did jesus show his love to us question two who do you think was on jesus mind while he was on the cross question three what can you do to share God's love while you're under quarantine? Because I know before you used to say, oh, I'll go this place, I'll go to this place. But now I want to hear and to know how would you be able to share Jesus' love when you cannot go anywhere? Okay, so I want you to watch the video and discuss the answer with your family. For our craft, you will need a piece of paper and a pair of scissors. So I want you to go get yours ready. Imagine that you're very excited, right? Because you love craft. So today's is our lesson was about Jesus dying. Jesus died on a what? Oh yeah, that's right. Jesus died on a cross. And when Jesus died, when they were putting the nails in his hand, what was dripping out? Um, blood right and the color of blood is what red and that is why I'm going to use a red paper so today we are going to be making a cross okay with a paper you take your paper and you fold this way see this one you make like a triangle make sure this side aligns and then you press down like this so you have the shape already you should have like a triangle and then this paper down here okay Are you done with that okay, now Next, you bring this part down here. You bring it this way. See? Just up, now you bring it down. You see that? And then you fold and you press, press, press all the way. Okay. Now you have this already, you know it goes up, now you bring down. Now the next step is, you see this? You're going to fold this way. Like this, fold, 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 fold. Okay, let's do that again. Just open like this. Remember, you bring it down and then you do this. You're wondering, how is this a cross? And well, we have one last step. Now, I want you to get your scissor, and if you're strong enough, you can use your hand. Now, it depends on how fat you want your cross to be. So, we're going to just cut like this. We we'll go this way. And this way, I think I'm going to have a thin cross. Let's cut all the way. Um, okay, I'm doing this cutting. Cut, cut, and cut, and cut. Okay, there you go. You're gonna have this. Um, let's see if this can make a cross. I hope I did it right. Oh yeah, it's a cross. Look at that. I hope you're able to get yours. If not, you can you can uh, rewind the, the video and see it again. See, it's a cross. Jesus died on a cross. 
And now we have this model of your cross. If you want, you can decorate your cross with stickers and glitter and whatever you have in your house to be able to decorate your cross. And you can maybe hang it somewhere in your room to help you remember that Jesus died for you on a cross. Okay, and so that is our craft. Thank you for joining me for this lesson and for learning about our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed doing the craft and I hope you really discuss the answer to the video with your family and to the mission story. So now we're going to sing our closing song, God is so good. Ready? Sing. God is so good, hallelujah. God is so good, hallelujah. God is so good, he's so good to me. God keep you safe. God keep you safe. God keep you safe till we meet again. And all the people say, Amen. Okay, so I'm going to see you next time. Bye bye. And I hope you enjoy yourself. So remember, Jesus loves you. And that's why he died for you.